Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, it's a continuation of my home makeover series. If you're enjoying watching these, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. I'm really excited to have another room in our house completed because we've lived here for over a year now. Since I'm in nesting mode a month before my due date, I want to have as much done in the house as possible. The first thing that I wanted in this small kitchen nook was crown molding and wainscoting. My husband installed it and I love the way it turned out. Since it is a small space, I went with white paint to brighten it up and it made a huge difference. We also changed the light fixture because the other chandelier was too big. It was overpowering the space and went with this one that fit better. If you're new here, I would love to have you part of my YouTube family, so please consider subscribing and click the bell notification to be notified when I upload my next video. Starting off, you want to have a clean space to work with, and we love our Swifter. It's super easy to use and gets the job done in no time. After letting the floor dry, it was time to set everything up, and my favorite part about a makeover is decorating. This is when you really see what you have envisioned come to life. I found this gorgeous rug, and I couldn't pass it up. I'll leave a link below if you're interested in it. It was nighttime when I was filming this, so the lighting wasn't the best to catch how gorgeous this rug really is. You will see later on in the video how it has a silver effect, and when you look at it from the other side of the rug, it's darker, kind of like a two-in-one rug, which is really nice. Hope's Perfect Glass is my favorite glass and mirror cleaner you will see used in many of my videos because of how well it cleans. I definitely recommend this if you haven't tried it yet. I scored two sets of these window panels at Home Goods on sale. It was the perfect color I was looking for to add in this space. They have a metallic shine with a little bit of white in them. They're really pretty. I know I will get asked a lot where the wall decor in the kitchen nook makeover is from. It's a DIY and I wanted to share how to make them with you guys if you're interested in having them for your home. If you've been following me along for a while now, you know that I made a faux mirror wall art using small plates from the Dollar Tree and since then they've been discontinued, but I still had some leftover enough to make four small wall decor pieces. These are 4x4 four four inches and I found almost identical ones to these, only they're a little bit bigger, they're 6.5x6.5 6 .5 inches. I already went ahead and ordered those for a future DIY, so if you're interested in them, I'll leave them linked in my description box. I set the plates on top to make it easier for me to know where each plate is going to be glued.
The final step is adding these removable picture strips on the back of each piece and pressing them firmly onto the wall in the center. I love dressing up a table even when we don't have guests because it makes me really happy to look at something pretty set up. I don't dress the tables often but when I do and we want to eat at the table I just remove each plate setting and add our food then when we're done I add the decorative plate settings back. Just about everything here is from Home Goods, which is my all-time favorite store. They have the best home decor and prices. I've had some of these pieces for years now and I just add on to my collection when I see something new during the holidays. That's when all the glitz and glam items come out, but if you're interested in anything here, I'll leave links to anything similar I can find. If you're not following me on Instagram, then you missed when I shared exactly when I found these round silver plates and many of you messaged me that you were able to find them, which makes me really happy. These are my favorite candle holders in my collection and I bought them from Home Goods about 3 years ago. I'm going to be cleaning them with Hope's Perfect Glass to get them to really shine. I couldn't resist adding a faux fur decorative throne pillows to this space. Of course, it's not going to be here every day. I'm just extra sometimes and I love that extra glam look. So let me know if you guys can relate in the comments. It's been raining here for the past week and I finally got to record in the day when the sun came out to show you how beautiful this rug really is. I would have loved for it to be a little bit bigger for this area, but the next size they had available was an 8x10 and that's just too big for this space. So this will definitely do. This rug is very forgiving if you drop food, which is something I wanted because we use this table a lot instead of the formal dining room. This mirrored round table is another favorite purchase many of you have seen a sneak peek of in my videos. There are different companies that sell this table so I'll leave the one with the best price right now listed. I love the way this room came together and the finishing touch with these silver wall decor pieces. They look even prettier in person and look like actual mirrors from a distance. I highly recommend making this DIY if you have been looking for something budget friendly and glam.
This is the new chandelier we switched to and it's also from Lamps Plus. They have a huge variety of gorgeous chandeliers and light fixtures. I'm really happy with the way it complements this space so gracefully but still with elegant touch of crystals. If you have been inspired through my makeover series to give a room in your home a makeover, I would love to see your progress, so please tag me on Instagram at LG Queen Home Decor. I had so much fun designing and creating this space. It brings me so much joy to see another room in our home complete that has been on my to-do list for a while. If you're about to tackle a room in your home, set a budget, take your time with it, shop things you know you are going to love for a long time, not just to fill up a room, and enjoy the process. These acrylic leg chairs are from Amazon. They were such a great find and they match the space perfectly. I'll leave them linked for you in the info box. They also have gray, which are stunning as well. This concludes my small kitchen nook makeover. I hope you guys enjoyed it and liked how it turned out. Give this video a thumbs up if you did and leave me a comment down below which was your favorite item and what you like best about it. Thank you so much for being here and showing me all your love and support in this home makeover series. I'll talk to you guys very soon in my next video. Take care.